Today's cardboard hack is going to be how to make a flat pack house. Um, kids will learn a ton of geometry, um, but they'll also learn about hands-on 3D um, spatial thinking and model making. Um, so for this project, you're going to want a bunch of square um, pieces of cardboard, um, a lot of them solid, and then you can score a bunch of them halfway in the middle. And you're going to want one piece of cardboard that's the same dia uh, the same width, but a little bit longer height. So I'm using five by fives. Um, so I made one card that's five by six, and I scored it down the middle. You're also going to want some duct tape, and that's kind of it. Um, you can use margin markers if you want, but you really don't need to. Um, so for this project, we're going to have kids figure out how to make a flat path house for easy transport from one location to the other. The best part of this project is you really don't want to give them any instructions. Just give them the duct tape and the shapes and let them figure it all out themselves. And they can explore the difference between making a flat pack house with a flat roof using a square on top versus making a flat, uh, flat pack house with an A-frame using the larger piece of cardboard. Students are done making their flat pack house. Um, it's really fun for them to decorate and furnish it. So you can have them make little pieces of furniture, like here's a sofa, and let them put it in their house. Um, it's a really good opportunity to teach them about scale. So if you have any little characters, like a zebra, um, he's obviously way too small for the scale of the house. Um, they might try making characters, and if you compare the height of the character to the roof, um, clearly, this would be an extremely tiny house for this kind of character. Um, and then if they have other types of characters, you can have them make like paper, um, print and cut out. You can see that this penguin is probably a little bit more appropriate um, for the height of this house. So they can get a lot of um, learning about scale as an extension of this project. Um, hope you had fun, and um, if you want the tiny house challenge that goes with this, just um, to uh, PM me and I can give you the link to the actual challenge itself.